Gurukul, guys. Why is Gurukul ultimate and why it is needed? I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Parvashiva. So first off, um, inviting you to check the Swamiji's YouTube channel and type Gurukul Nityananda and there's many sad songs Swamiji gave about Gurukul and talking about the greatness and the importance of Gurukul. I wanted to share a few things because um, some things that I cognize which I think are very important and that uh, we should know to kind of realize the importance of Gurukul. Um, in the previous video, uh, I did talk about how Gurukul is important because you get introduced to the right principles from the beginning. So you can create the right identity. You can create a conscious identity for yourself and not be stuck in patterns and unconscious behaviors. Now, why is the education system outside all education system outside of Gurukul is, uh, I mean, that's maybe a big statement, but um, why is the education system a failure in general in today's world? Well, because the education system does not take into account the involvement of the being. And that is very important. And especially the involvement of grasping the context of what is being taught. You can read a book, memorize it, go to the exam, write, get 100% mark, be very happy and get a great degree, you do great jobs, but you don't need to understand anything. You can, that the system we are in is a system where you can cheat your way out. And by cheat, I refer to non-involvement. means you do not need to grasp the essence of the context of what is being shared. You can just memorize the words and vomit the words afterwards and right word at the right place, 100% mark, great job. But that does not make you smart. That does not make you, that does not give you the power to handle life. It just allows you to, do, to, to have the power to handle examinations. And that is meaningless because that itself is created by humans. It's not life. A gurukul has to get involved. He cannot just simply read and repeat. He needs to grasp it. He needs to grasp it to the level that it becomes his core, his cognition. A Gurukul student cannot just go and repeat the Upanishads and whatever Veda, uh, Vedas or Slokas he learned into his teacher and repeat it and, and pass. That's not how authentic traditional Gurukul work. The student will study in the Gurukul for so many years and he will be taught the basic principles of life starting with Shravana Manadandi Didyasana, which is the fundamental, listening, internal, internalizing, and then radiating, expressing, manifesting. Um, but the thing is that you need to grasp it. And by grasp, I mean, it needs to become your experience, your life. It needs to become you. It is the thought currents you are associated to. To that level of mastery, you need to have, not simply repeating verbatim, or just going back to memory, oh, uh, it's sad actually. Yesterday I randomly saw this video on YouTube where these guys were giving free iPhones to people and um, they were just asking random questions and if you're able to answer the questions, you get the iPhone. And they would have like four, five, two, three questions, sometimes one, sometimes four questions. And it's like random question. Okay, let's have a question about culture. Do you know this? Poo, yeah, no, okay. Mathematics, you know this? Oh, poo, yeah. It's just like... It's, it's like, and that's why it's kind of useless. This information is meaningless. Like you knowing this is not gonna help you at all in your life. And you see the person is just there going back in his memory and getting it. I mean, I mean that's fine because we don't know anything else because the Gurukul system has been destroyed. But, but we need to realize that it's important and we need to stand for it and make it happen again because we have to stop this way of education. It's so silly and meaningless. A Gurukul student would learn about a philosophy. Sankhya philosophy, for instance. He will study about that and live his life in Gurukul and implement that in every actions he do, whether it is gardening or doing worshipping or doing yoga or doing puja or learning the mantras or reciting or debating, whatever. He would implement this knowledge and live it through everything that he does to the point where, for the examination, the student will sit in front of the acharyas, they will give him some thought current and they will let the child expand on the thought current, what he grasps about what they're asking. And if the student is able to give powerful cognitions 
if he can display that he grasps the understanding to the extent that he can simply express it and bring people to that understanding, he passes the test. And if he does not, if he is not able to, uh, if he's too shallow in his, the, the way he cognizes, he has to continue to study, internalize, meditate, contemplate on it until it becomes his very essence. And that's how it is in today's world. And for that, you need to be involved. It means you have to constantly contemplate on this truth, talk about this truth, think about this truth, share about this truth. And like that, you kind of dig, dig, dig deeper, 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 deeper. And at some point, you get it. You grasp the root. And then when you talk, you can share the root. And you can bring people to that understanding. Why? Because it is your understanding. It is your reality. Gurukul is all about turning the principles of Hinduism of, that Sanatana Hindu Dharma teaches into your reality. And once it becomes your reality, you pass and you go and share that with others and make that their reality. So that's a totally different level of mastery. You cannot cheat your way and just spend three hours before the exam or the night before and just memorize everything and go mad and have all these anxiety attacks and then go to the exam. The B, C, B, D, A, B, D, B, and the 98%, yay! That's like, that's not life. Throughout, when they're studying, there's no completion. During the exam, there's no completion. After the exam, it's just excitement. There's no completion. And then after that, it's just... Because there's no mastery of anything. It is just, it's a very shallow principle, very shallow way of education. And I mean, it is what it is. That's what is available now. But we now that Swamiji is there reviving Gurukul and the authenticity of Gurukul, uh, we should do it. And we should help. And we should, you know create that atmosphere where we can allow Gurukuls to blossom where we are and give that opportunity to the next generation. The next kids, which are the embodiment, the kind of new embodiment of consciousness, they should be put in that space. They should be allowed to contemplate and they should be able to turn these principles into their reality and live like enlightened beings, powerful beings who are beyond the experience of the world while engaging and being in the world. So that's what I want to share in this video. Gurukul is awesome. So check out Swamji's channel and learn more about Gurukul. You type Nityanda Gurukul on YouTube, you'll hear, you'll see a lot of different content, different channels with different uh, videos about Gurukul and everything. So inviting you to check that and just contemplate on this and, and have this like realize the importance of it. And if we all do this and share, then as a collectivity, it will become a reality. And it's important. It has to become reality. So with this, thanking you all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Ring the bell to see when the next videos are happening. I upload many videos a day. Description below has a lot of nice content. Um, actually, there's a free initiation Swamji is giving uh, every few weeks. It happened. It's happening now, actually. Yesterday was the first day. Today is the second day. It's an Atmalinga initiation where you get initiated into... Uh, receiving the Atma Linga, and that's a different thing, but it's basically a pure 24 karat crystal Linga, which you learn how to relate to. And it's basically the Atma Linga means your soul. It's the representation of your soul. And you can get, you can have various types of initiation. Um, and uh, I will invite you to check it out. So there's the link of that in the description below as well under um, initiation into Shaivism, into worshipping Paramashiva in form of the Atma Linga. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video.